Hey, Corey here with Team Kramer Fishing, and today Vivian and I are out. It is early springtime, um, and we are fishing for suckers today. I'm targeting um, white sucker species. I haven't caught one of those, and Vivian's trying to get a hog, northern hognose sucker, because she hasn't caught one of those. We were out here the other day, and we each caught each other's species. Um, I thought I'd go uh, do a little how-to. Um, on fishing for suckers at this time of year because it's a good time uh, to target them in the early springtime. Water here is about 53 degrees. Um, ice just melted a couple weeks ago. Um, the initial kind of flooding, is, if you can look at the bank over here, you know, this water was all the way to the top um, just a few weeks ago. So I wanna go over kind of the basic setup that we're using, this is a simple Carolina rig. Um, I like to use these one ounce banana sinkers on a swivel. This rod has 30 pound braid. You don't really need 30 pound braid. Um, 20 pound is what I have on the others. And um, a little half of a night crawler threaded onto a number six Aberdeen hook. You can buy a whole boxes of these for just a couple bucks. They're nice because um, you can thread these half and night crawlers. This one's chewed up a little bit. I just had a bite on it. Um, you can thread them on these night crawlers really well and about everything will bite them. We even caught trout on, on this rig. Um, we are using all ugly sticks today because they have a nice soft tip. They're really excellent for this type of uh, just bottom fishing. And I think that's about all you need really. Um, so let's get rolling. Okay, so an additional benefit of using these Aberdeen hooks, they are designed to be bent back into shape. So, if you get a snag, which happens quite a bit, you can bend it right back into shape and you can reuse it again over and over again. It'll save you a lot of money and gear and um, just a lot of time retying hooks that you shouldn't have to retie. So I got my other rig over here. This is another smaller ugly stick. 20 pound braid. This is a cheap um, bait runner reel. We don't really need bait runners today because I don't think there's any fish that are gonna bite that are big enough to pull these rods into the water. Maybe a, we could get a big catfish, but I've never caught one over five pounds from this creek. So I think we're okay on that front, but ooh snagged already. Dang it. I think I lost my rig already. You really got to keep them tucked in close with that current today, Viv. You, yeah. you can't cast them out very far today, honey. That's just all there is to it. I lost my rig like first second I tossed it out. It's fine. Lost this one too. All right, our secondary rigs are gone. Got a bite. Fish on. What is it? First fish of the day. Little Creek Chub. Little Creek Chub, not my target species, but better than not catching anything at all and only getting some eggs. Nice looking guy. We'll get him back in so we can use him for bait later this summer. So here's a little tip for fishing a spot like this that has some current. We have kind of a ripple up here the water's coming down. I try to stay out of this current over here because it will take your, your weight and your rig and it will chuck it under rocks that are out here. So what I try to do is cast or toss, in this case, right along the current seam, right along the current edge. Little small eddies like this are good um, for these type of bait fish, suckers, things like that. Um, we accidentally tossed two of our rigs 
out a little too far into the current and immediately we lost them out there. So um, just try to keep them tucked in a little bit and uh, that'll save you some rigs for sure. Probably, I better check for suckers. It's been a while. Sometimes. I got something. Man, he is fighting like crazy. Creek chub. Oh my god, that thing's huge. Not as big as mine. No, not as big as my foot one. I needed to check. This is dad's fish. Okay, now he swallowed it completely. This is dad's fish. He got it. This is in the span of 30 seconds, so I gotta do it quick. But beautiful creek chub. It's about eight inches. About, so we're gonna let it go. Bye. All right, didn't know he was on there. I would have got him in sooner and he swallowed it, so we had to cut the hook off. Pretty good sized creek chub, though. All right, let him go. Got it. Okay, got a, I got a shiner. So it's a little bit of shiner, and I got it hooked in the correct place. Now these guys were feasting so much getting bit already what do we have shiner this time pretty okay. shiner nice shape this looks like a common shiner to me but i might do a little research and see if it's different Got one. And it's a shiny. This is a huge shiny. It's so fat. This is a fat shiny. Look at how fat that thing is. Dad, look at how fat it is. Okay, so we caught a beautiful shiny. It's very fat. It's a chunky fat. Feels like a baby again. This time we got another shiner. Another good size shiner. Alright, another nice size shiner. Nice looking shiner. Oh yeah. That's a big creek chub. Wait, is it? Or is it a sucker? Oh yeah, that's creek. Okay, so we got a beautiful creek chub, about nine inches bigger than that, haha. -ha. Um, let's get it right in the good spot where it's kind of easy to get out, but kind of not. He devoured my worm. I said devour it, so makes sense, but nom nom nom. Bye bye. Yeet. I said yeet to the fish, and it like. That's a fish. Pretty decent one. Oh, I think it is a white sucker. Or a walleye. Not a walleye. <laughs> I got something on mine. There we go. That is a big one. Holy smokes. Dad got a huge white sucker. Yay, New we species. We man, I tried so long for one of these stupid go. things. Yes, earlier this week. Ah, uh, crap. Dad. Nice Dad, you... sucker. Since this was a sucker instructional video, I am glad we got a sucker. So oh, oh really good looking white sucker, new species for me. I caught four hognose suckers the other day. Vivian needs a hognose. Uh, she just got her bait stolen. So A plus for this guy. He's a pretty solid one too. And we'll let this dude go back to suck some more crap off the bottom of our stream. There he goes. Friend. Sweet success. I did, however, just jam a thing, a hook into my thumb Dude. when I was trying to tie the knot. It was before I caught him. You just, you, you have blood all over it. Little tip. I thought I put it into my thumb. Oh, actually, I 
I cut my finger. Maybe he did cut me a little bit. It's not exactly clean and sterile, but I just want to stop the blood from getting all over the place. I don't think I got him. Oh yeah, I do. Oh. So we got a giant shiner. Dad, I think this is, no, it's not the same one, but this is a chunky. You stole my worm. I didn't tell you to eat it this time. Okay. Yeet. Somebody up there just heard me scream yeet. I can't tell. I'm gonna reel it in anyways. Oh, got one. Oh. No, this is it. Yeah, this is shiny. Big, shiny, very, very fat and plump. So, and it kind of swallowed my hook, so. Mm. Dad. Yeah, it is, look at it. Look at the line. Got it. Oh yeah. Oh. It is a shiny. You ate my worm. Okay. We are now enemies for life, but this sucker ate my worm. Oh. Yeet. Can I have a worm? Okay, I think we're going to wrap things up here for tonight. We did get one of the target species. Um, earlier this week when we were here, we caught eight. So, But the important thing was, this time, the one was more important than the eight because I got one that I needed for my species list. So, white suckers are done for me. Vivian still needs a hognose sucker. I think this weekend we're going to try the bigger river over at the skunk. And uh, the water temperature's up in the 50s in the small part now. It might be up into the 50s there. Let's see what we can get. We might have a chance to get some um, some red horse um, or some other type of fish there. So I think we're going to give that a try tomorrow and see what we can get using the same rig.